In this special report, we will examine how the Iraqi dinar investment opportunity occurred and how its beginning may be contributing to the existing delay, in addition to the normal delays like banking reform, housing, and developing income streams outside of the oil industry. In 1938, oil was discovered in the New Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The discovery was not the intended outcome of the American expedition. The expedition was looking for water and found oil. There were many complaints about foreign presence in the kingdom after the king allowed commercial oil production to begin. The first Arabian-American oil company was established in 1938. The first Western housing compounds are created to accommodate the U.S. workforce in Saudi Arabia. Strict religious laws did not apply within the compound walls. The Saudis were earning big money and lost credibility among their religious conservatives. It was during the Arab-Israeli War that trouble began. The U.S. supported Israel. That is when the 1973 oil embargo occurred. The Middle East understood and said, those who control the flow of oil can hold the Western world hostage. Oil prices quadrupled in America. Moving to the year 1990, this man, the leader of Iraq, attacked Kuwait. The kingdom was concerned that he would attack Saudi Arabia after taking control of Kuwait. This man told Saudi Arabia that he would bring soldiers from Afghanistan to protect Saudi Arabia from Iraq. However, the Saudis had a better offer. Troops from the United States arrived in the kingdom to protect the country and the oil. The king rejected this man's offer. The rejection upset him. That is when he took to the streets and mosques to denounce the royals and their unholy alliance with the United States. There was a string of attacks around the world in the 1990s. In 2000, Saudi Arabia was the world's number one oil producer, and the United States was the world's number one consumer of oil. Then, 9-11 happened in 2001. When it became clear that 15 of the 19 9-11 hijackers were Saudis, that was a disaster within the disaster. You must remember that some groups in the kingdom did not approve of the relationship between their country and the US. The Saudi royal family condemned the attacks and convinced much of the world that they were friends, not enemies. The Wahhabi group in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the royal family were at odds, or that is what we were led to believe we do not know the absolute truth. We know the U.S. said the leader of Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. However, that was untrue, at least at that time. The bottom line is we, the people, do not know the truth about what really happened. However, there is no doubt that those in power know the truth. We can only wonder if this man told us the whole story, and we can only hope the truths will support our investment in the Iraqi dinar, not hinder it.